prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. Are you the scion of the flame? My name is Zan Utlosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Mukto. And we are all scions of the flame. Every one of us who have traveled across the Bridge of Time to be here for the Great Awakening. We have all sworn ourselves to the cause. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we won't need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. Reborn in this time. Well, I can promise you, whatever you're after, this... Ophelion? You won't get there. We'll destroy the Zeldi and everything on it if we have to. You can't do that. The Cartabula would rip through the fabric of the universe if it were critically damaged. He's right. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Not if they're just going to start it again. So you believe him? I'm not sure. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle will ensue. We've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good. And he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I get the impression you know how to make people talk. Think you can break his arm? No, don't! What the hell, Carter? We don't torture people! Did you forget what uniform you're wearing? What it stands for? This isn't like you. He'll live. Isn't that what you want? Don't you twist my words like that. I have only just begun. Stop, please! Wait! The warp cores. Our technology is amplifying the ship's output, and it still relies on the warp cores to provide plasma to the engines. Disable those. And the ship grinds to a halt. Sabotage. This display is for all life forms on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are. The central artery of ship systems. Sensors. Propulsion. Weapons. And this is engineering. It's deserted. If I can get us there, can you cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. But I'm coming around to it. You just worry about getting us there. I'll handle the rest. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here. Now. 
This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Nilly's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. I know you're here, Carter. Your technology is so simple to us. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life, and I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. You have Miranda's voice, but you're not her. And you don't know me. Of course I do. I remember... Well, I remember everything. I remember us. So I'll just explain the reality of what you're up against. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. You think there's some sort of compromise to be had here? After all you've done? The only end of this is when you surrender. After all we've done? You can't think we'd give up now. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge very soon. Our comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. But I'm trying to help you. Got it. Mine's done, too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. You already broke his arm. What more do you want to do? I want to eliminate loose ends. And I did that for you. You two forget you're on the same side? Come on! Now let's move it. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those duridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something.
Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far. Only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Deval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. Nothing like this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian. I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible. To enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Scions of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takon. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Tacon immortality. You want me to help you destroy them. That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. There is a war looming that could engulf the Quadrant. We want you to help us bring about peace before it gets to that point. Peace? always comes at a cost. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. Where are you? Where's my team? They're safe where we left them. That the science have stolen the Cartabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John Rydeck. Your colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Tacon. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. We're more alike than you might realize in that we accept the inevitability of loss. 
If only you understood the glory of the Decon Empire's past. Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coplia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. The only reason any of my people are still alive, why I am still alive, is because the federation helped us. We would have been extinct decades ago without the Deridium the Federation gave us. If anything, I owe them gratitude. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Tacon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. These aren't the Tacon you knew. They're a facsimile. They're imposters, and they tarnish the Takan name. We faced these questions in my time as well. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Takan plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. That's not a decision we're just going to let these new Takan make for us. We will fight them back. In fact, I doubt anyone would willingly give themselves up to bioforming. The Trill do just that. There are many symbiotic relationships among species. To mutual benefit, not replacement. You said you will not give up, even when faced with the superiority of the Takan. If I were in your place, I might say the same. I'm curious to see these scions masquerading as true to come. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Tacon. To understand their true intentions, for better or worse. I'm sure you'll see things the way we do. And if you don't, don't stand in our way. That is a problem for another time. I'll return to you now. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools?
well. This is all I need. Away team plus one, ready to beam up. 